There are really some crazy, exciting, and downright embarrassing stories that come from The Masked Singer. Here are five of the most insane moments from the history of the show. That's what's hot. Do you love all the craziness in The Masked Singer? Don't worry, you're in the right place. Sometimes this show can be really wild, to say the least. Let's take a look at some of the most insane moments from the history of the show. Five, Mickey Rourke unmasking himself. I'm gonna bring you guys right back to the first season of this show for this one. Mickey Rourke was known as Gremlin, and let's just say his run on the show didn't last too long. He didn't even make it to the part where the panel was supposed to guess who he was. Isn't that the point? All of a sudden, he started saying, I need to take this off, I need to take this off. I'm too hot. I need to take this off right now. What's happening? The Gremlin's telling me he wants to take this off. It's too damn hot. Let's go for We've it. lost control. It's no. the Gremlin show. No. 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 I get it. We all get overheated, but shouldn't that be something they should have tested before he ever stepped on stage? Or was that his problem? Number four, Kelly Osborne. That's all I have written. I'm kidding. She seriously destroyed the competition in her season because she faked an accent. I wasn't afraid to get a little mud on my tires. That's a really southern accent. Listen, I'm no impressionist. I can't do any type of accent, but isn't that like really hard? Kelly knew she had to bring something to this stage. I mean, she knew each of these panelists individually. Lucky for her, her clues totally threw them off. They noted family dynamics and drama, but never put it together that she's the daughter of Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne. By far, her best game tactic was faking a Southern accent under her mask. This definitely threw all the panelists off, so they were so surprised to see her revealed. Lily Collins. Paris Jackson. Lindsay Lohan. No one guessed correctly who I was. See, I thought my clues were gonna give me away, but I didn't realize that they were really good. Number three, Ken Jong not recognizing Bella Thorne as Swan. Oh, it's no secret that Ken Jong has a tendency to ignore the people he's worked with before as his guesses on this show. I've seen it before. To this day, Ken Jong is still embarrassed that he didn't guess Margaret Cho's identity correctly. It was the poodle uh, being Margaret Cho, one of my best friends in the whole wide world. Wait, you didn't recognize your best no. friend? No. The look on my face was pure <laughs> embarrassment. Oh my God. Because I know I would not be able to live that down for the rest of my life. And clues she's from San Francisco when she did stand up comedy. Oh and my I was just gosh. Like, ah, ah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh but the only person he's gotten wrong. Out of all of Ken Jong's wrong guesses, my favorite would have to be Bella Thorne. We all know and love this actress from her role on Disney's original show, Shake It Up. But let me tell you, my respect for her skyrocketed when she told Ken Jong off. Those who don't know, Bella Thorne and Ken Jong were co-stars in the 2015 film, The Duff. This film may or may not be like one of my guilty pleasures because Robbie Amell's in it, but we're not gonna get into that today. Anyway, although Bella and Ken weren't directly in a scene together, they had to have seen each other on set. I mean, come on, you're in the same movie. Number two, Caitlyn Jenner. You knew I had to add Caitlyn Jenner to this list. Just roll the clip. Anyone will ever forget this performance. Caitlin made it so difficult to enjoy her song, and I seriously didn't think I could even hear myself think over it. I don't think many people were surprised when she was behind the mask, if I'm being honest. And to add to this, I just want to let you guys know that Kesha live reacted to Caitlin's performance of her song, so check this out. <laughs> Now, I just wanna end this one out by saying I don't think Caitlyn had the worst performance of her season. Personally, I felt like Danny Trejo as Raccoon was a lot worse, but you guys let me know in the comments down below which one you could stand more. And last, Sarah Palin as Bear. I can't lie to you, I really think Sarah Palin played this game the best out of anyone who's ever played it. Absolutely no one knew it was her under the costume. I mean, have you ever seen a government official get down on the dance floor like that? Her performance was the exact opposite of what everyone expected, and that's why she did so well. The panelists literally thought she was Tina Fey from SNL because she was being so insane on stage. I don't know about you, but I am still recovering from when I found out that Farrah was Sarah Palin. 
Oh my God! Wow! What you say? She put it on a glass first. Governor Sarah Palin. All right, guys. Clearly, these aren't all of the craziest moments from the history of the Masked Singer. So let me know if you would want a part two to this video that includes some of the new acts from this current season. And while you're in the comments, I want to know who you guys think had the craziest run on this show. How crazy do you think my choices actually were here? While you're still on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Follow Talent Recap on all social media platforms and head on over to our website, talentrecap.com to stay updated on your favorite competition shows and their stars. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, I'm at Corey Caesar and I'm Corey for Talent Recap and now you know what's hot. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit the subscribe button down below and then we can talk.